I got crystal reports package and uh, I just did basic installation of that and when I open uh, event viewer loading wait you see there are many MSIs at 1133 only the same time when I installed many many of them so it's hard to pick one by one and uh, apply standards to that or create transforms to that and keep all them in a batch file and install that that is not feasible because one or other msa might miss if there is no silent switch that is the only option uh, but i guess uh, uh, there is a response file option available so let me revert this machine to the checkpoint where i copied the msa I mean the setup files. Status is still saving. Yeah, now it's running. No connect. No, let me see event viewer. This time I will clear. <coughs> See you setup.exe I think there is a response file already sample response file uh, let me show file name extensions you can see INFL you can modify this but it seems uh, they had given for option for uninstall so let's try the same for uh, installation also for recording the MSI iPhone W Yeah, it's iPhone W Let me keep the name as uh, C. Is there any install.ina? No, right? I will use that. Install.ina. product key I am providing so let me pause the video so I clicked next next and at the end it created an install.ina file uh, the product code all are uh, hidden all the features are selected so a response file is created So what's next? 
so this runs the installer silently and either gives you further information options okay at the end so to install it silently set up dot exe slash qb hyphen r let me take a backup of this uh, INF file and desktop setup dot exe slash qb iphone r as it is in the same folder i will just type install data in it and, and i will run that let's see whether it is running silently or not the setup.exe in the task manager it's failed it's immediately closed let me see the reason let me see whether it is providing any command and arguments uh, directly by keep or slash question mark oh my god i mistake i type double slash it's it's not but let me do one thing i will apply that license instead of star 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 and see uh, applied that license in that install data and uh, i replaced that star 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 with the uh, my license key and ran this command again qb icon r it seems this time uh, it's running in the background let's wait till it's complete wait for this process to complete Let's wait till it complete. Let me pause the video so the installation is completed so what i understood is uh, 
uh, when you create this response file installed at ini uh, it's not uh, saving the product code here i mean the serial number so you need to enter that here so that it will install directly once it is installed and now uh, you can see this uh, at remove programs entry also can so the next uh, so this is the installation command not the complete command i will add it to my batch file so present uh, let's save this here at least the next part uh, is about an installation so for an installation uh, what we can do is uh, uh, go to add or remove programs it is showing sap crystal reports 2016 sp7 so search for uninstall key in the registries hklm software microsoft windows current version uninstall see the product name here display name whatever is there just check that it's not available here so let's check the 32 bit part many crystal reports are there but let's check for the main one with the display name you can check sap crystal reports 2016 sp7 yeah and check the uninstall string here this uninstall string you see it is pointing to setup.exe this one right we need to create similar response file for this also So, uh, now let's try that, creating response file for that. The same approach, uh, the iPhone W part, which we used. Uninstall.ini.
to move out yeah now the response file is created you see this is only written it's really didn't uninstall it see where the file is yeah file is created now instead of iphone uh, w keep iphone r and uh, type slash qb for silent uninstall let's see in the task manager yeah setup is running now i mean this setup.exe let's wait till it's complete still running let me copy this command also in the meanwhile let it wait till it complete and let me pause the video so now when i refresh you see it got uninstalled so we got install and uninstall commands we can frame a uh, uh, batch spells for that so that we can deploy them directly to sccm and one more thing you need to do is uh, you need to check with PSEXEC. Understood. Uh, so that one anyway you can check from my PSEXEC video. Thanks for watching. Bye.